Thanks. New at 6, Central City Boxing at Barbell is a nonprofit gym started by a Springfield police officer. The goal is to give at-risk young people a place to learn and grow. But right now, the future of the facility is in jeopardy. Western Mass News reporter Caroline Powers has this exclusive story. Every day at 3 o'clock, Dean Fay goes from police officer to coach. Dean grew up boxing, and after spending years working as a Springfield police officer, he saw a need to bring a boxing center to the city to help at-risk youth. In March 2017, he opened Central City Boxing and Barbell. This becomes their safe haven. This becomes a place where, you know, they get out of school and they come here. It's not just about boxing. It's about learning life values and, and uh, you know, learning that work ethic, that perseverance, that determination that you're going to need to be uh, a productive member of society. Staying out of trouble, getting my grades right, and not messing up in school, staying focused got me out of trouble. Dean tells Western Mass News the gym trains more than 60 kids, but a few weeks ago he unexpectedly found out the building they're located in was sold. I haven't heard anything. I don't know where we are with this. Um, we have grown out of the place, but either way we have a lot of money and a lot of memories and a lot invested in this place and unfortunately we, we have no place to go right now. The gym tries to collect $40 a month for membership fees, but Dean says it's rare when they see even half the kids able to pay. I will never turn a kid down. Uh, I have kids that come to the uh, every day. I mean, they, they pull up on their bike and they say, hey, I want a box. We see what we got for money and, and we pay whatever bills we can and whatever we don't, we crack our wallets and make it happen. Um, you know, I mean, it's getting increasingly more difficult to, to pay. If you'd like to donate or help Central City Boxing and Barbell, visit westernmassnews.com. In Springfield, Caroline Powers, Western Mass News.